hi friends this is Sagar from SG Creation and um, if you are new and uh, you just come into my channel and you uh, suddenly got this video so first of all go and click the subscribe button because I I I uh, upload a lot of videos and tutorials uh, for Unreal Engine so you can learn very quick if you subscribe me and I uh, start this third person shooter series uh, game so this is the part of that series so you need to first check out my other videos then follow this <clears throat> and uh, thank you guys uh, you give me a thumbs up in every video um, uh, thanks for that actually I really spend a lot of time with tutorials so thanks a lot you all like my videos and um, yeah it I, I really appreciate that so uh, into this video this is not going so long because it's a short kind of tutorial but right now uh, I forget one thing to set up uh, as you know that we set up this you know game instance uh, SG game mode into this we already set you know uh, game session and game state thing but we don't set it over here into our main map so first you need to just select SG game mode or whatever you you create whatever you name so I select this you select your character over here so and after that you need to put right like this you know start point right now I have already uh, through one player start point so whenever I play this our player spawn at that point okay so into this video we are going to zoom by uh, adding zoom functionality with our weapons uh, because um, a lot of people want me to do this uh, zooming kind of functionality and uh, and uh, right now we don't have any you know whenever we you know setting wait a minute I need to just first of all down the size down the size right now it's a little big 980 is good 980 is 120 so so yeah so right now you can see uh, our when when our AI shoots shoot us so our you know you know this uh, our um, process was not showing our health properly because uh, we don't set this so first we need to quickly set this uh, go over here first we need to create one more uh, max health kind of thing control W is a duplicate thing and uh, you just need to health and this is a max health max health okay and right now we just set 100 just leave is zero make this a zero compile and into your even begin play so just set this and you need to set like this so whatever your max health whenever your game is started you give a full health to your character so you can set it over here like 200 or whatever you like you can so now this is zero by default so whenever game is started you set 200 and it automatically set 200 health so we need to go over into our where is our main widget where we set this all widget functionality so into this we need to bind this right now we don't bind anything so just create binding into here and we already take a reference so for our character uh, if you don't for we just event construct get player character and we take a reference from our player okay and uh, we call this get <laughs> health get current health and we need one get max health okay so and remember this always uh, do current head divided by max health uh, if you if you suddenly do this 
max health divided by current health your health won't show up or in uh, incorrect so always current health divided by max health okay remember this so put like this quickly because I don't want this video so long or don't make to this video long so right now whenever we shoot over AI our health definitely going down did you see so whenever he shoot us our health is down and uh, right now we said 200 health so that take a little bit time because damage uh, is less from the AI gun so you can crank this up if you want you can mm, give the damage into here increase the damage uh, so where is that into I think into here into here you can crank this value if you want take damage then give uh, so 35 so what what I do is just get random float in range so you can put any values 25 to uh, 40 is good so now your your AI can shoot you but you get different kind of randomized uh, minimum to maximum kind of thing so did you see your health is going down quickly now okay so you can put this simple note uh, minimum and maximum kind of or you if you want to make more more uh, if you want to make more sorry uh, if you want to make more advanced you just control the control V you can plug this minimum and maximum so you can you, you put the four values so it will randomize that values also if you want you can also do like that so it's a tip so live this live like this so yeah we need to make a zooming functionality now so here's good space so right now we need to go into project setting and make one key action you know action key right and here need aiming name it aiming whatever you like and uh, this is the right mouse right mouse button select this close this and right click aiming type aiming so you get this uh, after compiling save or uh, don't forget to save uh, every time so uh, no actually we need something uh, we need a timeline so time line make timeline and this is a zoom zoom in okay so we use a timeline and uh, here need a flip-flop we need one flip-flop and put like this and first of all we need to check our camera uh, what the FOV is setting field of view it's FOV so right now it's a 90 so don't forget this if you uh, if you set it wrong into this so uh, it can you know a little bit you know a glitchy kind of thing so whatever you set it over here you need to set it into this so open this and make a float name whatever you like I name it zoom zoom in okay and uh, uh, down the length point four is good and uh, just zoom to fit this kind of thing so right now just shift uh, if you don't know you just delete you just um, press shift and press left uh, mouse key so it will give you a uh, you know key so here 
one key and here we want one key also so right now this is this is the zero time is zero and value is 90 I'll tell you why I put this this is the f of a land and how 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 um, how uh, zoom you want so this is a 40 and this is a 0 0.4 value so I know you don't see but when you zoom in like this so this is 0 0.4 and 40 <coughs> and uh, and this the value is 0 and this is the FOV 90 so it go from here to zoom from 40 so just right now we just do this and select this and select both of this and right click and choose auto so it will you know smooth it and don't take anything looping and auto auto things so just leave like this and close this and after that you need to plug this play from the start so take a camera and type FOV or field of view field of set field of view we need to set our field of view and we need to update and this FOV goes into here so let me show you what this will do when you press aiming it will zoom in okay and with very smoothly kind of lurping kind of thing the timeline is really very good to make thing you know smoother so always use this and control the control copy this okay so copy this don't waste to make zoom out function so name it zoom out so if you want you can make a, a mm, don't make a copy you can make it but you need to reverse this this is 40 and you need to this is 90 so what I do is just copy to save our time so here we need to reverse it reverse from and not reverse okay because it will play from the start and it is go 90 to 40 so what I do is we just reverse it 40 to go back to 90 okay I think you understand so copy this FOV and put like this update it into update and just plug it like this mm. okay and uh, we can check this uh, compile come on yes save it and right now we zoom and zoom out but uh, we don't want to zoom in and zoom out without any weapon when we pick any weapon when then we want to zoom in and zoom out so you can just simply put a simple boolean it's very simple you just when it's true when you equipping weapon is true then you go into zooming functionality so this is very simple and uh, right click now you press right mouse it don't do anything because whenever you zoom and zoom out so I think this will work for you and hope you like this okay thank you guys to like my videos and don't forget to subscribe if you don't subscribe me so uh, please subscribe my channel and put thumbs up to this video so thank you guys hope um, and one thing uh, please uh, join my FB page so you can contact me directly if you have any troubling kind of thing if you want any help so thank you guys or you can mail me also you can check my email in my uh, about uh, into YouTube page so hope you like it thank you guys and uh, please please share this video and uh, you know uh, and uh, give me a thumbs up and please join my happy page thank you guys bye bye see you peace